From Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic, this is Poker Night. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America presents the Party Poker Caribbean Poker Party. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? I studied linguistics and etymology. I'll show you an easy trick. Pirates of the Caribbean. Forehand in play will continue at 250,000, 500,000 with a 250,000 button ante. Our chip leader is Sam Greenwood sitting on 53 million. Jonathan Little has roughly half that stack. Previn Stockin and Alex Papazian have roughly 10 million or 20 big blinds. I would like the, uh, I, I like the button ante. I just think they should have made, keep it big the whole time. You yeah. can't keep it big because like, imagine three handed. It's you pay too much for anti. Yeah, then it's okay. you, so you gotta you gotta play you gotta play some hands. I, mean, I like it. I, <laughs> I like it, but it doesn't make any yeah. sense. Yeah. Gotta stop knitting it up. Previn stock in here on the yeah. button. <laughs> Two eights. Apparently big anti no limit hold is a very, very different game. Apparently. Haven't played it much. Raise 1.1. Alex Papazian posturing patiently and folding. Jonathan Little, ace jack in the small. Little thinking about his 19th book he's going to write after this event concludes. Raise. Little decides to come in for a three bet. 2.85 million. Stockin doesn't have a lot behind. He started this hand with just over 10 million. All in. Raise all in. All right. Go. There that goes, all in and a call. King, queen, four, all hearts. Stockin holds the only heart. King on the turn. And king on the river. Stockin will double up through Jonathan Little. Oh, that's my coffee as well. What a day. <laughs> wow. Happy ending, Jim. You're living the dream. <laughs> We're not super high rollers. What? We're not super high rollers. I'm no. not regular high rollers. No, that's true. That's right. This is the first event of the Punta Cana Caribbean Poker Party brought to you by Party Poker and Poker Night in America. This is the 10K high roller. That only took Jesse about 14 takes to get correct. Now you're in my head. Again. Meanwhile, Sam Greenwood, ace nine, suited in clubs, will raise to 1.1. There's a shove from Papazian. Like 10 points. Can I get count? Do you want to count, right? 11. If it's 11, I'm pretty sure I'm calling, but I'm just, if it's 11, I'm gonna call, but I just wanna get a count. Only 11, probably. And this might be an interesting spot for Greenwood, given that Papazian has about 22 bigs. It's over. Greenwood decides <laughs> it is a call. I put in a bunch of chips. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Papazian looks so chill, like he just got good news. Oh, you didn't call it? You weren't changing your mind, you put a chip down though. It was like 15. Yeah, oh yeah, it might, yeah something to say. But... Eight in the mm. window. Mm. But all clubs. Well, at least he's not drawing dead. Oh my god. Ace on the turn, he's still not drawing dead. Oh, I didn't see that. Stall for dramatic effects. Queen on the river. We say goodbye to Alex Papazian. And Papazian busts in fourth place for $100,000. Not a bad payday to start things off here in beautiful Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic at the Party Poker Caribbean Poker Party here in Punta Cana. Now you're just showing off. Thank you. 
<laughs> Good luck, guys. Have fun. Eight six off. Yeah. Nine, seven. Perfect. <laughs> oh man, I'm the shorty now, just like that. Could take third place as well and get shafted 900. Yeah. What did I tell you? <laughs> Queen nine suited for stocking. One point one. Eight nine of clubs for Jonathan Little. Call. Call. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. Nine, six, eight, top two for Jonathan Little, top pair for Stockin, who's the preflop aggressor. I, I had double espresso. It was a double espresso. It's okay, we're all good. Him. So Jonathan Little's bet of 2.5 million does get called by Stockin. Third heart on the turn and a full house. Stockin improves to a moot flush draw. Pretty much the worst possible card Stockin could see. 3.5 million is the turn bet. Hard to imagine Stockin folding this, even a player of his caliber. Come on. And check out that pot size as we are up to 15.3 million. Four of diamonds. Peels off there on the river. Jonathan Little has sized this so that he can go for the slam dunk here. All in? Bet's on it. There it is. 11.7 million. Stock in can only beat a bluff. And diamonds did come home, so this should make it a little bit easier for him to decide to fold. Fine. Impressive fold there. No diamond, please. That was a lucky diamond for you one time. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a lucky diamond. Lucky. Sam Greenwood, our chip leader. Over 125 big blinds. Jonathan Little, not too far behind. Needs to double up, 56 big blinds. Previn Stockin is our short stack, 23 bigs. Still very playable. Eleven five. Eleven five. Alan. Greenwood rips it into the twenty two big blind effective stacks. I call. Stockin looks down at Ace Queen and makes the call. Queen, six, jack, all spades. Mrs. Greenwood pretty hard. Just 5% equity to the turn. Four. It's right as good as it could have helped for. Pam's <laughs> right. That is the perfect card. You wish he wasn't. Plenty of chopportunities. No, I spade is Plus with five will oh, now give him the straight. Spade, straight. spade is great. Of course. Yeah, sure. And uh, there it is. Chop it up. But it's the less exciting five. This seems like a more justified five, though. Uh, come on. <laughs> oh my god, you're playing great today. This is the third rudest I've ever seen Jonathan Little. Making the flush when Roboto made the set too, just to just to like rub it in. That was nice. <laughs> I remember like Ace 10 minutes. on the button for Greenwood. <laughs> First level or something. Like two hands. Raise. All right, one yeah, that other one was Beery. Yeah. I had that one as well, so. Yes, you want a big pot at that table, then you came to my table. You yes, want a big I, one. I wouldn't at the big party one. Two fives for Previn Stockin. The 
face of diversity. Got me paranoid. People looking at the backs of my cards. All in. Prep in the stock and rips it. Now here's your race. Here's your real race. All right, chop it up. So Jonathan's just rooting for stock and to lose here so he can get a $51,000 pay jump. That's good for two months rent where Jonathan lives in New York City. Greenwood is going to need a straight or to pair up. Tis neither. King of clubs on the river. Big double up for Preb and Stockin. <laughs> Jonathan laughs because he loves pain. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel that one. Yeah. Long gone. After that last one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. We are still three-handed. Three. It's a magic number. They're a three-handed family. It's a magic table. That flash really high, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I take that. I thought it was a red card. But... <laughs> Good fold, pocket jacks. Fold. Ace four for stocking in the small. How much you play like? No, I don't know. 20, 25, you got about 26, 27 ish. Like 50, 25, 25. That's yeah, right. Now the stacks have evened out a little bit. You love bragging, don't you? <laughs> 40. Meaning that stocking and Jonathan Little, both around <laughs> roughly the same size. Huh. All right. Ten trade deuce. Wheel draw for stocking. In bet. Five hundred. Five hundred. Cut. Little moves ahead on the turn here, pairing at six. One million seven hundred bet. Stock in unfazed by the turn will continue barreling. Call. Bet and a call to the river we go. The ace of hearts on the river is all stock in. Will he bet? Probably. And Jonathan's on his fifth major river decision of the tournament. He hates the pain, but kind of likes it too. Fold. Does find a correct fold. Greenwood looking down at Ace Deucer. Raise one million one hundred. Jonathan Little in the big all right. says, all right, 10, nine of diamonds. Draw one time. Queen, six, tray. Rainbow. Stick. I'd like to see a call here from Jonathan Little. The turn should present him with plenty of possibilities. Call. 
One of them possibilities is pairing up, which she has done here on the turn. Check. Check. Green with checks behind. Queen of spades on the river. Jonathan's gonna go for some value here. Goes a bit big. Too big. Greenwood's out. Sam Greenwood has half the chips in play with 49 million. Previn Stockin has 29 million, and Jonathan Little is bringing up the rear with 24 million. <laughs> I was so good at this game. <laughs> Jonathan Little has two red queens. 1.2 million. I don't know. I think about 24. Twenty, twenty-five and change. Greenwood sitting on that big stack. All in. Raise the line. No decision there, despite the pretty cards. He did look a little bit sad that he had to fold such a good hand three-handed. I had a queen. Thanks. I had, queen I, had eight. A, I had a club of four. So it's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Queens and eights as Little snaps that off. In a great position to double up here. 10-7 deuce. Not much help for Greenwood, considering uh, backdoor hearts won't even help him. Tray of hearts on the turn. Ace of spades on the river. Jonathan Little doubles up. He's our new chip leader. This is the happiest I've ever seen Jonathan Little. He can barely contain himself. Two nines here for Greenwood on the button. 1.1 1. 1 is the open. Jonathan Little defends, queen six suited. Four, three, six, two spades on the flop. And Jonathan catches just enough to get himself in trouble. He's typically a good boy, but he can sometimes find himself in trouble. Cool. Greenwood opts to just call. Ace on the turn. It's not very fun. It's going to kill all the action. Now, I want to say that Sam Greenwood probably knows his hand is good, but given the texture of the board, he may want to keep control of the pot. But three millions? Three millions, says the dealer. I like Greenwood's decision to try to get one street of value here on the turn. He's going to get to decide when it's checked to him on the river um, if he can possibly get more value out of his hand or if he just wants to keep the pot small. I think he's going to decide to make the pot large. Now the spades do come in, but of course, that's a set. Now set means three. <laughs> I think he can safely make a decent sized value bet here because I'd expect Jonathan Little to lead with a flush. I would too. That looks big. Eight million. Quick fold. Deposit, deposit. Jonathan has been improving his river decision statistics in the last two hands. Oh. 
He's managed to get away from it. Blinds are now up, 600,000 big blind. Ante, of course, half that, 300,000. Greenwood, king three suited, 1.3 million is the open. A defend from Jonathan Little. Eight queen, jack, two spades. Bottom pair for Jonathan Little. Backdoor diamonds for Greenwood. One million is the continuation bet. There's the call to the turn. King of hearts. Greenwood takes the lead here. Now that he's got some showdown value, he opts to check. And there that is. Jonathan Little makes two pair, bottom two pair, little two pair on the river. Big bet of 4.5 million. Greenwood checks this turn to always kind of call this off. He's going to see that. Got a bit unlucky. Cool. Greenwood's face says LOL NH. Not only do poker players get to travel all over the world to awesome destinations, they get to party every single night. fantastic. You can feel the ambiance. The people are having a great time at the party, but they're having a great time in the, in the poker area as well. Everything is done for the players, with the players, and I mean, you can live here forever like this as a poker player. This kind of stuff, the social stuff, the drinking at night, it's pretty insane how many people are here and everyone's having such a good time, the atmosphere is great and yeah, it's, it's really fun. Fantastic time, honestly. It's like, I mean, it's a great place. Like, when you're as bad at poker as I am, you, you bust out a lot. So you want to be somewhere where you can have a lot of fun and this is it. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, abroad in Punta Cana, featuring the Party Poker Caribbean Poker Party 10K High Roller Final Table. So many words to describe the poker. Cool. Greenwood just limps in here with king seven suited. Two queens for stock in here. Raise to win 100. There's the raise, 2.1 million. Greenwood again, probably limped here with the intention of calling a raise. Three, four, five, two hearts. You couldn't ask for a better flop if you're Greenwood. Except maybe with a couple kings. How is this going to go down? Straight draw, flush draw versus the over pair. Three handed. Two million six hundred? Two point six is the bet. 
is a fun spot to be Jonathan Little. You just kind of chill out and hope that a massive pot develops and you get to get heads up. If Little watches someone else bust here, he earns himself and his family $51,000 more in prize money. All in. All in. Raise one. His, the raise from Greenwood gets quickly called. And Stockton will get the interesting news that despite having the best hand at the moment, he's actually a slight underdog. And I believe that as Sam Greenwood sees what he's up against, he probably wishes that he had just called and played the hand on later streets as he has no fold equity here on the flop. He misses everything. Mm -hmm. Too many outs. Yeah, there's right. really nothing Greenwood could do there. It was just a set up cooler hand. Sam Greenwood walks away in third place. It's $124,100 for his efforts. That was nice of Party Poker to add the $100 for Bahama Mamas. Thank you, thank you. There's a look at the trophy. Yeah, it's not bad. It's definitely a trophy. Oh. Eight eight ten, pair for Stockin, up and down straight draw, for Jonathan Little. Goes check check to the turn. King of Hearts. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. You can obviously see it for yourselves. <laughs> Two million is the bet. Oh. Stockton calls with a 10. Five of spades does not complete any possible draws. Those are chips Little will probably not see again. Go. Stockin makes the correct call there. Yeah. Pretty looking 9 7 of clubs there for Jonathan Little will come in Five, for the seven, raise. One, ten, six. Yeah. At least two. And Stockton has him dominated in clubs. One, what is it? One Queen point. deuce of clubs again. Go. Four clubs to the flop. King eight deuce. Bottom pair for Stockton. Check. One point five. Bet and a call. Three of spades. Check. Check. Action goes check, check. Another spade here on the river. Kind of a weird hand. Check. Prep and stocking does check. Jonathan thinking, if I had a spade, I may have bet the turn, I think. I'd probably check back all of my pairs, but I can't win with nine high, so I'm gonna have to bet regardless. 2.5. That's about 40% pot. Does look like a, a little value bet. Preppin seems a bit perplexed here. What can you have, Jonathan Little?
Good call. Wow. Super light call, super correct call for Previn Stockin, who is a heads up specialist online. This is the most embarrassed I've ever seen Jonathan Little. You'll ship them back to me and I'll ship them back to you. <laughs> One of us will end up with them. And the blinds have gone up. Big blind is now 800K. One of us will end up with them. Raise 1.8. 1 1.8 is the open from Stockin. Jonathan Little has ace queen of clubs. He's going to three bet to six million. Stockton does decide to peel. Cool. I call. What's your favorite thing to peel? Mine's string cheese. Jack five four two diamonds steel wheel draw for Stockton. Do people still say steel wheel? Uh, yeah, I think plenty of septuagenarians do. Oh, but not people who eat meat. With five minutes. There's the big raise from Stockin. Gets the job done. This is the fifth angriest I've ever seen Jonathan Little. Welcome back to what may prove to be a grueling heads-up battle between Norway's Preben Stocken and a guy who watches Magic the Gathering videos on YouTube, Jonathan Little. Uh, Little raises 1.6 with 7-4 suited. How much is it? Stock in just a call, King Jack. Ace nine five, two diamonds. Check. Incoming C bet from Jonathan Little. What? One point four? Stockin knows that a lot of the time his king high is going to be good here. It helps have a little backdoor diamond draw too. Jonathan Little pairs up on the turn. Check. Pulls way ahead, 89% equity. Check. check, check to the river. King of Diamonds. Jonathan Little improves on both streets, now holding a flush. Couldn't have ordered up a better card if he tried. Stockin checks again. Now in very distinct check call mode. What number? Will little go for. Something tells me it may be large. Not only is it large, it's one and a half times the pot. How much is that? Nine million. 
stock and looks at it as if he's never seen an overbet before in his life. He's like, who are you, Doug Polk? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Stockin makes the call and sees that, that Jonathan yeah. Little, in fact, river to flush. It's not good. So Jonathan Little takes the big so. pot. Jack five suited, AKA the Jackson five before he got white. Cool. Holy cow. That's the nuts for stocking. Top pair backdoor club draw for a little. Hold on to your hoods. This could get interesting. But two and a half? I like that stock and looks like he's going in for the immediate raise. Going for value now. 6.5. Raise, six and a half million. Jonathan can never fold here, right? I wouldn't. Jonathan does, in fact, make the call. 17 million in the middle to the turn we go. 10 of diamonds, that's going to slow things down here. Not a very fun card. And this is where Stockton is just happy that he played his hand fast. Because you already have a pot that's really big. And if he had slow played this, this would have been an action killer and it would be hard to make a big pot after this. It'll be interesting to see how Little reacts to this turn bet. With six wins? Quick and good fold from Jonathan Little. That could have been the one. Good. Yeah. Preb and Stockin has taken a pretty solid lead with 72 big blinds versus Jonathan Little's 30. And the big blind is up. We are now playing 500,000, 1 million. Two point two X, two point two million is the open. Jonathan Little defends with Queen Ten. Top two pair for Jonathan Little. Heart draw for Stockin. Four million. Five point five is the raise. It's been a pretty healthy raise here. Now Stockton has to size them up and think, if I jam here, is there any way that this is getting through? Because if not, he's left with just a flush draw, and I don't think he's going to want to gamble in the situation for all of it. Stockton regards himself as one of the best heads-up players in the world. He'll want to eliminate any form of variance. Does just make the call. And it's interesting because it does put him in a really tough spot now going forward. Uh, clearly his plan is not just to try to hit a heart on the turn. 
Um, but there were multiple ways for him to pick up some equity and continue in the hand. All in? That's going to put an end to things. 22.6 million. Grabbing stock and can never call here. I think that's like 5 million or something. And the blinds are going up to 600,000, 1.2 million now. That's a lot because the starting stack was in fact 1 million here. Oh, that's always the best when you start blinding in a starting stack. So each time you post a blind, you're posting one person's soul. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> Stock in ace five here. I'm all in. All in. Rips it in. Oh boy. Actually, probably a close one. Yeah, you gotta be pushing that. All right. Call. It's all in. Call. So it's good to see ace five because yeah. it's probably ace two as well. Makes me feel better. Ace five off. King four deuce wheel draw for Stockin. It's gonna need an ace or one of Jonathan Little's threes. It's gonna be a five and a five only on the river that can save Jonathan Little's and tournament. And it's not life. a five, it's a three. He makes the set, which is no good. Again. Thank you. So the first title of the Poker Night in America presents the Party Poker Caribbean Poker Party belongs to Krebin Stockin, who takes down the 10K high roller. No easy feat navigating this tournament of bosses and indoor kids. My condolences to Jonathan Little. Meet me in the player's lounge and I'll buy you a drink, buddy. This place is all inclusive. The drinks are free. It's the thought that counts. Where's that name from? Oh, I'm Norwegian. I'm from a small city in Norway, north of Norway. Uh, so it sounds a bit weird. I don't know. It's a very Scandinavian name. Say it in your language. Uh, Preben. Preben, so, so. so tell me a bit about yourself. How'd you get your start in poker? Um, I, I started playing in my mom and dad's basement like 13 years ago or something. And then I started playing online when I was 18. And I don't know. I just kept on playing. I've been in the game for a long time. So where are you from originally, and where do you live now? Uh, I'm from a small city in Norway called Harstad, but I moved to London like a year ago. So right now I'm in, uh, I'm in London. So you're like living the dream? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I think I'm doing well. So Party Poker's kind of been making a big splash in the poker community you know, lately. How do you feel about their events? Oh, they're awesome. Uh, this is my second Party Poker event. I played a Nottingham event as well this year. And uh, I think it's nice that poker stars get some uh, competitors. Um, so the whole industry becomes more competitive. Uh, so it's very nice that they're stepping up, you know. If you're a live player, you want to play a live tournament, so you want more, more places to go and play. And Party Poker's been putting a lot of big guarantees also. Yeah, the guarantees events. are sick, you know. So massive guarantees, you know. And there was even like an overlay in one guy said, I saw. But I haven't had the time to play that one. But yeah, it's awesome, yeah. Great guarantees. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Jamie Kerstetter. And I'm Jesse Abramowitz. Until next time, deuces.